Good morning, and welcome back to the Glen. So the last time we were here, it was on a live stream. And we all know that didn't go too well. So, what we're going to do today is we are going to go over and clean up the bales in our other field. Once we get that done, we're going to then get the plow and we're going to create one larger field for our farm. A little bit of fog on the go this morning. So yeah, that live stream that I did, I thought a lot of it was the settings that I had, but apparently it was my internet connection. So I've been in contact with my internet company and got things straightened up. So hopefully in the future when I do a another live stream, it won't be as horrible. I even tried to uh, upload the stream to my YouTube channel. And for a 55 minute video, it had five minutes of recording. So, if you missed the live stream, what we did in that episode was uh, we got the bales up out of the other uh, field and we put in a grain silo and did a little bit of landscaping. Now, remember my... Uh, Stacking is not the best, so you'll have to bear with me. Now, let's try to turn this in. Oh, and there they go. Let's see if I can push that in a bit here now. I'm just going to take these ones off and straighten them up a bit. I find with this you have to be almost perfectly straight for it to work properly. You know what? I'm just going to do it this way. Bring them over. There we go. Now, let's go over and get some more. So yeah, I haven't been doing much streaming lately or videos, so I'm going to try to get more videos out on a regular basis. Just been really busy with work and real life stuff. But I'm going to try to get more out a week. They won't be long, long videos, but as long as there's some content there, and I hope it'll get you guys keep watching them anyway. But you know, I enjoy doing the streaming. I enjoy doing the videos, just the creation of it.
I just want to get this done so I can get that field started. Got to start making some money. And also today, we are going to get some horses. I think it's time that we get horses. You'll notice the trailer that I have there is a different one. Uh, the trailer that I had was giving me some issues. So I took the mod off and I ended up getting that one. So I think it is a better one anyway. For this farm, we only need small equipment. Now let's have a look. I'm just putting them here temporarily. Once we get the horses and that in, I'm going to try to find a better place to store the bales. But for the time being, I think that place is just fine. Now, let's go get the two that fell off the trailer. Because I really suck at loading up the trailer. Beat the trailer up while I'm at it. Actually, I'm going to lay this one on the trailer and the other one, and I'll bring these over for the horses because we're going to need them. I guess my problem with doing this is I just do it too fast. As you can tell, I came around that corner pretty quick and the bale just came flying off. But it's not going to come off this time because I'm going to put a strap on it. Let's put another strap on there. Now let's get this over to where the horses are going. And then we can get at getting this field ready. So also in that last episode, we took out a loan. And uh, just let me have a look here. Let me zoom out. We bought them other two fields right there. So what my plan is, is I'm going to get the plow and I'm going to turn this into one big field. Then once we get that done, then we will go over and we'll make our purchase of our horses. Now I'm not going to buy a horse trailer to get them. I'm just going to lease one for the time being. But once we start... Uh... Now I'm just going to drop the trailer here. Once we start making money on the horses, then I'll be able to purchase a... transport trailer for the horses and that but at the moment we don't really need one I just need to get one to get the initial set of horses here now let's detach this we don't need this no more I'm going to use the Massey Ferguson to do that because to do 
the field because it's got a weight on it already. So I'm going to park the dudes far. Okay, let's get the Massey. Actually, let me go and open up the door. I only got a small plow. That's all we need. It's actually a subsoiler. But it does have the capability of doing the create fields. I'm pretty sure I checked that when I purchased it. But we'll find out now momentarily. I'm going to go outside the cab here. And I'm not sure if it's Y or U, so i got to bring the help menu down. Okay, it's Y, so I got that set. So I'm just going to start off with the outline first. I just want to make sure on each end and over around the trees at the edge of the map there that we got enough room for turning and stuff like that. Now, I mean, we can always create a couple of headlands when we... Uh, start doing our field here but I like to keep a little bit of grass around the field as well so if you just give me a few moments I'm gonna do a quick time-lapse while I do this and I'll be right back Once I get this done, I'm going to hire a worker to plow the whole field. I don't know if it's going to work the way I want it to because where I'm plowing some parts, it might recognize that as being plowed already. and So it's probably going to be a multi-stage plowing expedition. We'll find out now before we go purchase the horses if it'll work. Just let me get this last strip here done. But yeah, once I purchase the horses, it's going to take a lot of money from us, so... We need to feed them, we need to get water. 
Uh, I got no water spot here yet, so I'm going to have to purchase a water fill point. Not sure where I'm going to put that yet. I might put it in where the grain silo and that is over in the corner. Okay, so that's done. So I need to take create fields off. And let's go see how the worker is going to handle this. I'm just going to overlap it a little bit starting off. Alright, I just want to make sure Create Fields is off. Yep, it is. And we'll lower the plow and we'll hire a worker. Now I'm just going to stay with him just for the first row or two just to see how he handles it. I think when he comes up to the middle section that's plowed here, he's going to turn and come back. That's my guess. because he's going to recognize it as being plowed. And I was right. Will he be smart? No, he's not smart enough to go on and finish the rest. So it looks like we're going to have to do this in three stages, but we'll use hired worker on that, so that's fine. So let's get... Let's let him get on with what he needs to do, and we are going to come over here, and we're going to grab... Actually, before I grab the tractor, I'm going to come over here, and in here is where I'm going to put my water fill point. So, let me go into placeables, and I believe it's under miscellaneous. No, I have this one. I'm just wondering if I have another one. Fuel tanks, herbicide. Herbicide, come on. Water refill station. There we go. I like the look of that. So let's turn the map and see where the pipe is. And I think I'm just going to lay it. I'll lay it around here somewhere. Right there. There we go. There, that's not bad. I'll do some texturing around here with some dirt and that. But that looks nice there. Looks like that's where the fill point is right there. So we got room to turn around in here. That's great. I also did a little bit of retexturing here. I put a bit of mud around, a bit of grass, just to tidy it up a bit make it look so it's just not clay there so now we are going to head over to the shop and we are going to lease or purchase depends on the price uh, a transport for the horses and then once we get the horses in We'll go back and check on our worker, and then we'll have to get ready to feed the horses and bring them water and all that good stuff. So if you just bear with me, I will meet you guys at the store. Alright, here we are entering the store. We'll go in now and see what the cost of all this is going to be. So let's go in and have a look. So we are going to need animal transport. I mean that only carries two, I don't want that one. I mean it's only cheap but I want more than two and I don't want to do multiple trips. So let's see what we got here for horses. 
Uh, there's this one here. And this one here. This one carries nine. So I can do... I'm going to get eight horses, so that's this one will work. It's only 15,000, so I might as well just buy it. Now... I'm going to go red with the Massey Ferguson and the main color black for the Dutzfar. Uh Michelin or Lizard. Let me see. I like the Michelin. So that's going to cost us a total of 17,700 pounds. So let's buy that. Now, I'm just going to go into my garage here. I just, I, I can't remember if I got a water tanker or not. And no, we don't. So we're going to need to get a water tanker. So that would be under animals. So I got that one. Do I have a mod at one? That's better. This one here. I like this one. I used to use this one a lot in uh, FS17. It's a really nice one. So we'll get that. I don't like the rim color though. Go yellow. So we'll Standard, a brown chassis. Oh, that's a brown chassis. It looks more olive to me. A green chassis, standard. Yeah, I'll go with the standard. So let's buy that. And we're also going to need something like this here to uh, which one is it I think this is the one for the yeah we'll get this one and this is for the straw All right, so we'll get the water tanker back for now. Then we'll come back and grab the trailer for transport and the straw shredder on the next trip. Then we'll go purchase the horses and get them brought back to the farm. So I'm just going to do a quick jump cut here and I will meet you halfway back to the store again. So just give me a moment and we will be right back. And while I was at the farm and dropped off the water tanker, I picked up the arm so we can take the straw shredder back so I'm going to attach that first I'm pretty sure I bought the right one yes I did now I'm hoping I'm going to have enough room I'm going to go on the outside view I want to make sure I got enough room to get this without actually breaking up the shredder seeing it's brand new all 
All right, we got it. So now we are off to purchase the horses. We have 67,000 pounds left. Now I have to find where the horses are purchased to here. I believe it's at the barn, and if I'm not mistaken, it's down this way somewhere. I'll probably have to refer to the map. Just going to stop here. We'll go into the map and see where we are. So. I don't know why that zoomed out like that. I think this is where we purchase them. It's either here or... Animal dealer. There it is. So we'll just come down here and turn up. And I believe then we can probably take a shortcut back to the farm here. Okay, so let's give that a try. I don't know the full map yet. It's only a small map, but I don't know everything on it yet. I'll eventually learn all the different shortcuts and routes. So I think we just make a turn after these row houses here. No cars coming, so I'm going to make a wide turn. Alright. Do we got enough power to get up? Yes. I guess the barn is for selling our bales of hay and straw and silage. We are off to the animal dealer, which is in here. Now, how do I get in there? So we got to go back out and come in that other entry point. Not easy with that shredder on the front. You never seen that. I never hit that. All right. Now let's get some horses. So we'll get a gray one, a pinto, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And that is going to cost us 40,000 pounds. But we will make some money off of them, that's for sure. It's going to take us 10 days to get them to where we need them. But then once we have them, that's going to be roughly 400,000 pounds we'll get. So that'll allow us to purchase more things and build some money for the farm. Well, looks like our worker is doing some work. I don't see him now, though. Where is he? 
Oh, there he is over there. So once he gets that area done, then I'm going to have to do these other two areas separate. But the next time we plow, it should be a lot better. All right, let's go drop off our horses. Then once we get them dropped off, we have to get their food for them. I don't know if I got any oats. I think they require oats. Now, where is their drop-off point? I think it's right here. Let's get them moved in and confirm. There's our horses. So let's go drop off this trailer. I'm going to have this bale shredder ruined before I even get to use it. Okay, I'm just going to drop this right here. And I'm just going to lay this over where we need it. Drop that down in place. Now let's keep the spikes on because we're going to need to uh, let's push that in the way there. We need this to get some for the cows or the horses sorry I'm so used to so used to using cows on the farm so let's get the hay first as they're gonna need that so that's the water and this is the hay now I am using the horse helper mod it does take up quite some time to as I was saying it does take up a lot of time walking and running the horses and stuff like that cleaning them normally in real life you would oh that's that's weird I dropped it off over in the water and it filled up here Oh well. Whatever works. So yeah, this is going to be a great addition to the farm. Eventually I'm going to name the horses, so... If any of you out there would like to have a horse named after you, just... Leave a comment below and I will name the horses after you or whatever name you would like to have. Try to do some kind of interaction with my viewers. I think that would be cool. I will name the first one. I always got to name the first one. So I guess in our next video now, 
once I get these animals fed and all that, we'll call the end of the video there. But I think my next video will focus on getting the field ready for sowing. Um, once we feed the cows or the once we feed the horses, actually, we'll go over and we'll finish plowing the field. Or actually, I might just do that off camera because it does get quite repetitive. So I'll get that done off camera and. Uh, That'll allow us to get ready for the sowing probably in the next video because we're going to guaranteed need some oats. Now I just want to go in and have a look at hay. So, yeah, we'll probably need two more maybe. So, let's get them. Now this is probably not going to work, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to try to take two back at a time. I just got to take my time doing it. And we're going to have to um, mow some more grass and get that ready because we're going to need the hay bales. If I can do it like that all the time, that'd be wonderful. That was a perfect. Oh. Down a little bit lower. Now, this is where I need to take my time. So one, there's only one being held on by the fork. So if I go too fast, the other one is just going to fall off. So we finally got some horses on the farm. Oh, that one don't want to leave. Oh, bring it down. There we go. Now we'll get the straw. I think one will do for now, but... We'll undo the two of them. Let me know as well if the sounds of the tractors and the environment are a bit too loud. I am experimenting with this new mic, so... Now if I drop this, I hope it falls on its right side. Perfect. Oh, let's back up. Now the bale shredder that, or the straw shredder that I have, it's not really designed for square bales, but it does work. The round bales fit in it better. But I have used it with square bales. I just got to get it in the right position. Now 
let's get this lined up to put back in. And let's give the horses some straw. I don't know if it's going to take every bit of it, but it's going to take the majority of it, I would imagine. So eventually what I'm going to do in the description is I will set up a mod list on what mods I'm using. I do have a lot of them, but I'm just going through them all to see what ones I like and what ones I'm going to get rid of. You know the way it is when something's new, you try all the new mods and all that and see what ones you like. Look at that, it took every bit of that straw. I thought it would. But I think that's enough for them for now. I'll put some more in there probably in the next episode. So we no longer need that, so we can detach that. Now all is left for the horses is the water. Now once we also uh, have the cows to their full potential and we get ready to sell them, um, we will uh, definitely pay back that loan that I took out. All right, let's fill this up with water. It's going to probably take at least a full one of these, maybe even a part of a second. We will find out now momentarily. Also, do you like it when I drive on this view or in the cab view? I mean, I, I don't mind either. Or I can continue just doing a bit of both of them. Now, let's give you guys some water. See how much it's going to take. That's a pretty cool sound, actually, when I'm dumping the water there. Now you can hear the revs of the engine rev up. Okay, so they don't need no more. So actually, I'm just going to leave the water here. So we'll drop that off there. And I'm going to go over to that trailer that we have in the yard. I, I can't remember. If, I don't think it's oats. I think it's barley. I do believe it's barley. But we will find out. Yes, it is. We have 10,000 liters of barley. Let's go in and see what the price of barley is right now. So barley right now, cell area one or two. So cell area two. I mean, it's not a bad price. I mean, we can use the money. So maybe we'll just go over and sell that right quick. Sounds like an idea. Now this is a big tipper for this map. I was thinking maybe I might even sell this one back to the shop and get a smaller one. But we'll see how things go for now because I am making bigger fields, so. But I find like going in and out of the shop area, it's very tangly with this big trailer. If you remember from my first or second video but you'll see again here now it's it's right on them row houses where you have to turn in and then you got traffic coming at the same time and
So sell area two was the better price. So that is the second one in. So we'll sell this. We're not going to get too, too much. Well, 5,500 pounds that we didn't have. I'm also going to uh, offer my services to other local farmers and do some contract work for them if they have any. We have a lot of equipment that we can use of our own so we don't have to lease the items. No, that'll work fine. I just have to take my time. I think the first time I tried to come out of there I was just going too fast. It is a slow zone. The first crop that I'm going to plant next is going to be oats. Uh, the reason for that is we are going to need oats for our horses. To get full productivity out of them. Oh, I always miss that turn. And then after that, I don't know what we're going to plant next. Uh, my whole objective is I want to purchase the other two fields next to the fields that we own that we're making into one big field. And then that'll give us two big fields to work with. So I think that'll be perfect. Now, the best place I think to park this is in by the silo. So yeah, I widened this here as well, so I'm not driving on the grass. I do have a mod, it's called Wild Grass, so I'm eventually going to plant the grass back there again with the Wild Grass mod. Um, I know in, if I'm not mistaken, in the new update when it comes out, the version 1.3, apparently if you clear the field like that, the grass will grow back. Which I think it should be like that anyway. So I'm just going to park this tractor and we'll go out and have a look at our worker and see how he made out. We'll take a quick run around the back here now. I've noticed a lot of mods came out over the last week. I've downloaded most of them. Uh, the ones I don't, I, I don't want to use a money cheat or anything like that. So, but, but there were some great mods there, so we'll try them all out eventually. Probably won't be on this map, but eventually we'll get them. Okay, so we got the first part done, so there's these two fields left here now that I, I'll get done now myself. And uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll end the video here. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you liked the video, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, hit the thumbs up button. Um, you can even hit on that little bell, so that way if you want to know when I post another video or go live you'll get a notification I mean we all know that anyway but uh, I, I just want to say thanks for watching and I'm glad to be back again getting these videos out for you guys also I um, I created a new opening for my YouTube videos if you guys could leave some comments on what you think of it do you like the old one do you like the new one that would be great as well but again I appreciate you guys coming by and watching this video, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Take care.